Leviticus chapter 5 If anyone sins in that he hears a public adjuration to testify he being a witness whether he has seen or not if he doesn't report it then he shall bear his iniquity or if anyone touches any unclean thing whether it is the carcass of an unclean animal or the carcass of unclean livestock or the carcass of unclean creeping things and it is hidden from him and he is unclean then he shall be guilty or if he touches the uncleanness of man whatever his uncleanness is with which he is unclean and it is hidden from him when he knows of it then he shall be guilty or if anyone swears rashly with his lips to do evil or to do good whatever it is that a man might utter rashly with an oath and is hidden from him when he knows of it then he will be guilty of one of these it shall be when he is guilty of one of these he shall confess that in which he has sinned and he shall bring his trespass offering to the lord for his sin which he has sinned a female from the flock a lamb or a goat for a sin offering and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin if he can't afford a lamb then he shall bring his trespass offering for that in which he has sinned two turtle doves or two young pigeons to the lord one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering he shall bring them to the priest who shall first offer the one which is for the sin offering he shall wring off its head from its neck and shall not sever it completely he shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar it is a sin offering he shall offer the second for a burnt offering according to the ordinance and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin which he has sinned and he shall be forgiven but if he can't afford two turtle doves or two young pigeons then he shall bring as his offering for that in which he has sinned one tenth of an ephah of fine flour for a sin offering he shall put no oil on it and he shall not put any frankincense on it for it is a sin offering he shall bring it to the priest and the priest shall take his handful of it as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar on the offerings of the lord made by fire it is a sin offering the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin that he has sinned in any of these things and he will be forgiven and the rest shall be the priest as the meal offering